Yes, sir. Shaq Talk Stocks. Early morning video. Let's get it. All right. So stimulus check update. Uh, it's kind of ironic how right after they had their big uh, comedy show, the, the United States presidential debate, um, two days later, we got a stimulus check update. So what I'm already telling by what's coming out on the news uh, is down from $3.4 to 2.2. .2. So less money going out, but they say it's about to be going out soon. So got to keep y'all updated. This is what's about to be going out with the stimulus check. Now, um, they say the House of Democrats have unveiled a new $2.2 trillion bill that includes a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks. In some ways, those payments will be generous than the checks that were sent out in spring because more people will be eligible. I'm guessing if you, uh, same thing as if you file tax returns, but they're saying it's tax returns from 2018 to 2019. I'm guessing they might go like three years back. Now you could do, uh, you could file every three years. While the House could pass the bill, it remains to be seen whether Senate Republican or President Trump will see it as a starting point for negotiations. He wanted a $1.2 billion, trillion dollar stimulus check, uh, stimulus package. The big question out whether Congress will pass another coronavirus stimulus bill. Will they or won't they? From jobs to saving to retirement plans, the coronavirus pandemic has upended many Americans financially. Now, they just laid off a whole bunch of pilots, like 1,900. So, I don't know what the hell is going on, like what they're waiting on. And plus, uh, Disney, Disney on the way down, they just laid off like 82,000 employees or something like that. So... Man, it's getting bad in these streets, bro. Even uh, you look at the celebrities, they ready to kill themselves. Tamar Braxton, uh, the, the Migos, they scrambling for pennies. They fighting over money. So as this uh, whole um, pandemic keep going, you really don't see people true colors and what's going on and who really can hang on. Like, I think they going to pass this in November, right around the election. That's going to be like y'all Christmas money. Mark my words on that. They always do stuff like six months apart. The first one we got in May, this one we gonna get in like November. Trust me when I tell you. So, just don't don't hope that this is coming anytime soon, but hope that it's coming like the next month around the election. Like that dog and pony show that we saw last night. We gotta we gotta watch like two more rounds of that, and then you are gonna get your money. Trust when I tell you. But let's go back to the article. They're hoping for more relief, including expanding federal unemployment benefits. A second round of $1,200 stimulus checks as the American economy continues to cope with the challenges of COVID-19. Now, House of Democrats introduced a new updated bill that reduces the total size of aid they previously sought with a p aim for appeasing Republicans. The proposal, still dubbed the HEROES Act, includes a second round of $1,200 stimulus checks. They need to bump that up, matter of fact, I think. All this, they could just print up the money at this point, bro. At this point, the money is fake money anyway, but just people need money to be to spend. You understand what I'm saying? So they could bump. They're saying it's twenty four hundred for married couples. They could bump this stimulus check up to two grand per person, bro. It's all monopoly money. This time, they will be calling for a more generous term than the first checks that were dispersed in spring. My thing is, how you expect people to live off twelve hundred? That ain't no money, bro. Till since spring, bro. What? which will lead to more people qualifying for the money. Like the first round of stimulus checks, House of Democrats are proposing payments of $1,200 per person and $2,400 per married couple who files jointly, plus $500, they could bump that up to six per dependent. Full-time students who are younger than 24 and adults, depend, dependents, also would be eligible for $500 payments. That's a mark, a change from the dependent pay in the first checks which only went to children under 17. So if you're 24, you can get some bread. And so if you're 24 and you're still in school, I don't know how you're still in school. I know a lot of people that dropped out. Like Zoom and Zoom. That's what I told y'all, yo, if you got some money right now, throw it on some Zoom stock because, man, it's booming. That's, all, that's how school is going on right now, I'm guessing. Another change Democrats are seeking would have money also go to those with taxpayer identifications numbers not social security numbers. The payments will be exempt from being reduced or offset for past due child. Okay, see, the payments will be exempt from being reduced or offset from past due child support. See, the first checks people with child support, they didn't get it, which I thought was pretty crazy because, okay, I understand you owe child support, but don't you still have to support the child? And what if you lost your job? How are you going to do that? 
So that was kind of confusing me. Like, is this about, like, how y'all going to charge people money that they owe that's their, man, that confused the heck out of me, bro. Just give every American what they work for because you could still be on child support, but you're still a good father. You're going to work. But then they took the money from you if you lost your job. So it's like, that didn't make any sense to me. Democrats are also calling for a second checks to be protected from garnishment. Hmm. If you owe bread. The, me the measures also seek a patch delivery issue that occurred with the first checks. And they, they talking about patch delivery with the ballots too. So that whole mail stuff, man, um, it's tricky. It's real tricky. Just a direct deposit, man. The new checks would also be based on the 28 or 2019 tax return. Federal beneficiaries, those who receive Social Security, Supplement Security Income, Veterans, or Railroad Retirement Benefits would stand to get their payments automatically even if they did not file. That's, some, that's, that's what's up. The Treasury Department would be, would be required to reach out to people who did not typically file taxes to let them know how they can submit the information in order to receive the money. I heard dead people got stimulus checks last time, so I don't even think you got to sign up for them. I think that's all cap. To be sure, the challenges will go to will be to get both parties to agree on the Democratic proposal, which also includes $600 per week in enhanced federal employment benefits through January. Thank God they didn't cut the federal unemployment because people still eating off that. You understand what I'm saying? That's well above the unemployment aid Republicans have said they are willing to give. President Trump executive order in August includes a $300 per week federal boost to unemployment. That's now expiring in many states. I know people are still getting it. They're still getting um, LWA and stuff. There are a number of items that both parties want. The Paycheck Protection Program, Child Care, Enhanced Federal Unemployment Payments, Stimulus Check, and Airline Industry Funding. The airline industry actually got bailed out early in the game, but they still laid off people. So it's kind of crazy. Senior Vice President at the Bipartisan Policy Center and former Senate staff member. If it was just those items, I would say it would potentially move the needle, Hogan said. But the Democrats' $2.2 trillion proposal is still far from the $1.2 in spending Trump has said he will support. Both parties would potentially have to meet in the, in the middle in order to finalize a deal. I remain skeptical that it's going to somehow result in a quick action on a package. Well, that's your little update, man. That's um basically what's going on with the stimulus check, man. Um, also, they said something about Nancy Pelosi. Let's let's go back and see what the hell she's talking about. Yeah, second stimulus check, uh, Pelosi and Mun Munich. So second stimulus check update. Nancy Pelosi, Stephen Munich have extensive talk. Yeah, I need to stop all this talking, man. Just put out the check. People are here hungry. <laughs> um. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Treasury Secretary Stephen Munich held an extensive conversation Wednesday on a huge rescue package, meeting face-to-face -face for the first time in more than a month in a last-ditch effort to steal an extensive accord for the next round of stimulus checks. After a 90-minute meeting in Capitol Hill, um, Pelosi issued a, a statement saying that they, too, would continue to talk 